Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Today we have a Q&A session. So actually, Ed, just let me introduce myself because probably a couple of you guys don't know me, but I, I'm Rafael Tamashiro. I'm from Brazil and I'm the Exposure Academy coordinator. Okay. We have also Luisa, that's one of the coaching managers that she will be helping you throughout this semester. Luisa, can you please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Luisa. I'm from the Netherlands and I study law and society in Amsterdam and I'm 20 years old. And I look forward to meet you all and work with you this semester. For how long have you been with us, Luisa? Since 2020. Oh, three years already. Time goes so fast. Okay. I have been in Exwood for straight five years, but I have done my first semester as a student in 2017, so six years. Oh, a long time ago already. Oh my God. Okay. So, okay, guys. So, for today, I will just let me share my screen so you guys can see uh, where to find all the training materials, how you can start and everything okay let me share my screen here can you guys see my screen yes yes okay thank you so uh wait a minute let me get, let me get my mayor here so Whenever uh, all the train materials that you will receive free mail, okay? So make sure to be attentive for, for your email. So there are a couple of students that don't really see your email or check. Just make sure for exposure throughout this semester, please check your email every week or every day because everything, every important information will go there, okay? So the first training materials will be named as week one training material and that's one four and we will probably you'll find your your name here okay so okay let me close here okay so the mail will look like this so your name email country and age group make sure that all this information are correct okay if they are not just send me an email on academy at x dash culture.org, I, I will share in the chat later. Okay, back here, actually, I read share. Let me put in the chat so you guys can contact me if needed. So make sure that all information is correct, okay? Because this information is very important for us. So basically, you see, uh, congratulations on being sex uh, to the Exclusive Academy. Uh, and uh, okay, a total of 2000, actually, 207 students from 45 countries will accept this semester. And also uh, during the semester, we will have more university students join us. So more than 6,000 of university students will join in, in one month, I think, okay? And if you guys missed the Exclusive Orientation webinar uh, last Saturday, you can click here and you can watch on YouTube. Okay. So next steps. Uh, the four weeks, the first four weeks of Exclusion Academy are the third phase. So you, each week you have receive uh, training materials and one exam. Okay. So you need to take the test and pass at least 80%. Oh, sorry, my dog's barking right now. But you need to uh, have correct answer for 80% of the questions, okay? Uh, the training materials will be all here, so you can just click the website and it will work, okay? And also you can find the password here. So you can just open. I read uh, and the password, so it's all here. So you can watch uh, that talk that was done by Dr. Vaz, the founder and director of Exculture. And all the training materials are here. So for this week, 
uh, with one. It's going to be what a X culture and how it works. Basically, we just want to we just want you to understand what is X culture, uh, where to find all the training materials, how everything will work in the training phase, the practical phase, and post product, so you can be aware and understand everything that you're going to pass through this semester. Okay. So basically, you can just click here to watch the video, or you can also download it. Okay, is there any questions so far? Everything clear? Okay. And here's the training module one. Probably, actually, all these four items are very important for you to take the test, okay? So just make sure to watch, them, watch and read them carefully because it's going to help you out through the exam. Oh, and by the way, whenever you start the exam, uh, you don't need to finish right away. You can also watch the videos while doing the exam and just take your time uh, to, do, uh, to do and submit the exam. Just make sure to, do it, to submit before uh, Sunday, 11, 59 p.m., okay? Because it's the deadline. And also, if you already took week one uh, exams, you can already start working on week two, week three, and week four. The exams will not be open, but uh, we will. You can uh, start uh, reading and understand what's going to take you next weeks. Okay. So, as everything okay for the training materials, where where is the exam? Okay. The exam is in the email that I showed before. So you can see here, your week one, theory test one, and also the deadline that I just said, okay? For you to take the test, you can just click it and it will open here. So oh, again, make sure that all your information is correct. And then you can click here to start the test, okay? So to do the test, just read, and click on the items that you think that is the correct answer. And, and that's all. But is there any questions regarding that? Is everything clear? Let me check if I miss it, anything here. Okay, uh, the exam results, you probably have received, if you haven't done a message, but the uh, formal and official results will be shared only Tuesday, okay? Next Tuesday, January 31st. And then you will receive the week training materials as well, and the exam to, together with the mail. Okay. Uh, was it clear? Do you guys have any questions? Mariana, I see that your hand is raised. Do you have a question? Uh, yes, I just wanted to ask. Um, I handed in my like I already answered the exam. Um, but I thought like by clicking save and continue, like it would save itself, but it submitted like, and I didn't upload the video, like the introductory video to see your English level. Um, okay. could I maybe send it by email or something? Uh, no problem. We will ask, uh, if you didn't resubmit the, the video on week one, we will ask for week two. So you can submit on week two. Oh, okay. But will that affect like my grade in that test or something? No, not at okay. all. Okay, it's fine. Okay, thank you. The important thing is that you send the video at least at some point in the, the training phase, okay? Okay, please, how can I send the video? Uh, you need to submit a link for the video. So make sure to upload on Dropbox, YouTube, or any other platform and just place the link to your video. Okay, is that clear, Rania? No, yes. Feel free to open your mind if you want, okay. Okay, and is there any other questions, concerns, problems? Are you guys familiar with what's going to do next, what's, what will happen during these weeks and after that. OK, 
Can I send it as an attachment? Like, can, I mail? Uh, can I say something? Uh, just let me answer this question first. Yeah, like, so, mm -hmm, Omnia, sure. can I send it? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, what are you referring to? Can I send it as an attachment in a mail? What? what? I, I think the introduction video. I think the introduction video where we're talking okay. about that. Okay. Yes. No, no. You can upload in whichever platform and then submit on the, the exam. Okay, submit the link there. Okay. Otherwise, the, it's going to be a problem, pro, problem for us if we receive all the videos through email. Not only it's kind of hard to uh, send videos because it's too, uh, uh, too big, the document is too big, so maybe you won't be able to send the full video. And also it's kind of Mess, mess around all the answers that we receive. So make sure to submit through link in the session that we provided on the exam. Okay. Uh, who, oh, Omnia, do you still have questions? Yeah, hi, everyone. Hi. So actually, yesterday I had the test and I, um, uh, and I didn't submit the video. But I submitted the test and I received an email that I have uh, passed the um, passed the test successfully. So, is there any wrong thing here? Uh, as the same question that I just sent to Mariana, then uh, if you didn't submit the video, that's okay. We will ask again in the exam too. So make sure to do so to submit the video by then. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, who rated the Victoria before? also wanted to set something before before yeah, you answer exactly. the questions. Like, like okay. it's not a question, honestly, but I let, like Arafa asked about if we know what will be happening in the next few weeks. And like honestly, like from my side, after reading this for after this whole first week and like this exam and reading about that. I would say that I have some sense of what will be happening and I'm so like so happy that like every mm, like while reading this and just uh, trying to understand what is the whole program about make, make me so excited that I'm just waiting <laughs> for this to get rolling <laughs> really That's and good. answering your question yes I like feel that I know some something about what will be happening yeah okay okay but thank you for sharing your perspective and thank you for sharing your enthusiasm. enthusiasm. So it's good to see students that are just ready to go and ready to start all, all over. But just one step at a time and we will get there for the practical phase and you guys will meet each other. It's going to be a lot of work, but also a lot of fun. So yeah, okay. Uh, we have a question here, so from Natalia, could you explain again how to enter to the exam? Yeah, sure. Let me share my screen again. So did you receive the week one training materials and tests one already? No, let me, yep, okay. Okay then, so you can just scroll down and you will find here your week one theory test there. It's a clickable link, so you can just click and it will open. And here is your test, so you can just start it. Okay. Okay. Can I ask also? Sure. Who, who is speaking? Sorry. Alexander. Hello. Yes. So, hello to everyone. I have a question about these Q and A meetings. Um, I'm from Ukraine, and uh, here in Ukraine we have like a difficult situation with electricity. So, 
Um, I, I know that I need to be present on at least two meetings uh, during this four week test. Yes. Uh, so um, like what can I do? Because sometimes it's, uh, it's just impossible for me to be present because I have no electricity like it was last time. Okay, no, no problem. We can open like, an exceptions for some case. Just make sure to watch the recordings. So we are we are fine with it. Okay, yeah, I'll try my best, but like yeah, sometimes it's just impossible. Yeah, no, no worries. We understand your situation, so it's fine. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, is there any other question? I have a question. Sure. So actually, I'm curious, curiously asking this question, which is, uh, how many students are accepted in this culture academy? How many students are, are what? Sorry. Are accepted in this culture academy. For this semester in the theoretical phase, we have two hundred and let me get the information here on the mail. I don't two hundred. Actually, we had five more, 275 students from 45 countries, at least for the Excultural Academy, okay? Because uh, Excultural Academy start earlier, uh, but in one month, we will, uh, a couple of university students will join us as well. So probably around 6,000 students, considering university and MBA students. Does it answer your question? Yeah, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, any other question? Problems, concerns? Oh, also doing the theoretical phase, uh, probably next week or the other, I will assign a couple of coaches for you guys. So if you have any problems, they will support and direct you throughout the theoretical phase. They are very experienced co uh, coaches that have uh, that are former exclusive students, and they have take some training to be a coach for future uh, colleagues like you. So you will also have some support and assistance throughout this semester. Okay. Okay. Any questions, concerns, problems? No? Uh, so as we have time, maybe I can open us this session so you guys can introduce yourselves so we can meet you guys and maybe start to create some partnerships, I don't know. So you guys can meet each other as well already. Maybe Olena and Yaroslav can start. Is that fine? Just introduce ourselves and... Okay, so hello, I'm Aleta. I'm from Ukraine. Um, I'm graduated from Ukrainian school and uh, applied to UWC um, as a movement, United World Colleges. And I was taken to UWC Maastricht, which is in the Netherlands. So currently I'm here in the Netherlands. And yeah, uh, studying IB program. Yeah, interested in math maybe con logistics and excited about what are guys here doing. Yeah. And that's my word to Yaroslav. How did you learn about that sculpture? Um, I remember it was in the, um, it was a ad in the YouTube most likely. And uh, additionally, like I have quite a lot of like friends and others like liking your pages in social media or something. So, Okay, yeah. that's good, that's good. Thank you, Lena. Yaroslav, can you go next? So, I'm from Ukraine too. And uh, our teacher told us that we have a great opportunity to join x Archer, and I decided that I also can join this organization. Or... Okay. Yeah, we have... So, I try, uh, I'll try my best. I hope I... I have a great time and I think I have a great experience. Okay, good. We have a class, I think, of three, three, 30, 30, 
there is students from Ukraine, so I think we have a big cohort from, from there. Uh, thank you, Yaroslavi. Uh, Rania, can you go next, please? Hello, my name is Rania and I'm from Tunisia. How, uh, how old are you? Uh, 17 years old. Uh, what, do you, what do you expect of this semester in the next culture? Oh, we lost Rania, Rishi. Rania, come back. Don't run away. <laughs> Maybe she lost connection, right? Okay. Uh, Luandle, is that correct? Maybe can you introduce yourself? Hello. Hello. My name is Luandle Malembe. I am from South Africa. Okay. How, old, how old are you and what do you expect this semester in next culture? I am 15 years old. What I expect from X culture is learn how to do international business and gain experience from it. Okay. And how did you learn about us? It was on it was an Instagram, it was on an Instagram ad. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Rania, are you back? Sorry, I have uh, a connection problem. No problem, no problem. It's something that you guys will learn throughout the semester. There are going to be a lot of connection issues, so you guys will need to learn how to be patient. And yeah, it's going to be, yeah, it's a learning experience for you guys because everyone has this kind of issue at least one point at, a, at a, our life, so it, it happens. So no worries, Renia. Do did we should, did we lost her again? <laughs> so right. Okay, no problem. Is there anyone else that wants to introduce yourself? Um, may I? Sure, of course. Um, do you hear me good? Because yes. my internet connection is also very bad. So I'm 15, Konstantin, my name. Uh, I'm from Ukraine. Uh, what do I expect from X culture? Actually, I really want to improve my uh, skills, uh, my skills on a serious uh, information insertion because uh, I want to be a programmer. I am already know uh, programming language C++ and uh, made my little own uh, learning game. Um, and I really want to become better in searching information because it's uh, sometimes it's a trouble for me because I want to learn something, but I don't know uh, where to seek. But actually, I, I do already have a suggestion for you. Have you heard about chat GPT? Uh, writing chat, please. Sure. Ah, oh, this bot? Yeah, I know. Yeah, the Thank AI you. bot. Chat GPT. Mm -hmm. Oh, you read it. Oh, then. So it's kind of... I, I have it on board. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's a, it's a miracle for me, actually. Help. It's going, it's helping me a lot, this boss. The same, I've seen a video on YouTube, how a guy created a guitar pedal with this board. And really? And working by, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so cool. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, it is. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else? Would you like to introduce yourself? No? The other Wait, ones. I would, I would like to. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, okay. So I'm Tria. I am from Poland. I am 16 years old. And like maybe answering your question, I'm here in exposure to gain some experiences in business, but like over it, for most, I would love to, to meet some teenagers that are also that are also so ambitious and just want to get into into business even when we are like not adults yet and I just expect how to say it, 
knowledge, of course, knowledge, uh, a lot of practice and some fun because overall it's about that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, so you you joined the, the red place. There's going to be a lot of work, but also a lot of fun. So yeah, you 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 were in the, the right place. And just I don't know if you know. Actually, one question first: How did you learn about us? Where is Victoria? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm here. I'm here. So I just saw an advertisement on Facebook. I guess that I was just searching for a lot of different scholarships and programs so that's how this art appeared okay okay that's good and i don't know if you know but we will have uh, an exposure symposium in poland in july so yeah in, in lublin am i right yeah, yeah that's correct so you're, you already know so uh, <laughs> yeah. the, the best students will be invited to have this kind of session on ground so yeah maybe you can join as well so are you close to Lublin? No, but I'm in Poland. So like, I would say that it's already really close because if you, for example, have made your symposium in, I don't know, in Thailand, it would be hard. But if it is in Poland, I will do my best and, and try to get into that. So, uh, just for curiosity, actually, the next year we'll go, I, we will go to Thailand. So <laughs> you <laughs> Yeah, you, you okay, so high right. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay my you. friend uh, actually lives in uh, Lublin, so I'm going to tell it about it. He probably oh. will join. <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. We need to get everyone together in Lublin. Hey, thank you. Anyone else? Would you like to talk yeah, a little bit? My also. Who is he speaking? Sorry. Alexander. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so my name is Alexander, uh, Sasha for shortly. Uh, I'm from Ukraine, as I mentioned previously. And uh, actually, my school teacher told me about X culture. Uh, and therefore, I saw it would, it would be a great experience and opportunity to improve my English skills, especially in speaking. Uh, and also, like, learn something new about all the cul uh, cultures there. Okay. So I took it. And do you guys know each other, Yaroslav and Oh, yeah, I know Christian yeah, Tinky uh, because uh, he's my classmate. Oh, so it's same class. That's good. That's good. I thought that the the people from Ukraine were from different class, but it seems like everyone's the same class. So it's good. So you guys know each other already. Okay, thank you, Alexander. Do we have anyone else from the same class here today? Uh, yes, I am. May I introduce myself? Yes, please. Uh, so, I'm Maxim Lavry, and I'm from a Ukrainian city called uh, Rivne. Um, my hobbies are playing the guitar, swimming, and reading books. Uh, I learned about ex culture from my teacher also because, well, I'm the classmate with uh, Kostyantin uh, and Alexander, and Yaroslav is teaching in the same school as me. And uh, what I expect, I expect, of course, to gain some international experience international business experience, uh, maybe expand my network and learn how to solve problems for real business companies. Thank you. Thank you, Maxine. Uh, anyone else? Maybe I will choose someone to talk, okay? I want to hear at least some words from everyone. Abdul? Are you there? I would like to introduce myself, if it is okay. Yeah, yes, please, Mike. Go ahead. So, hello, everyone. My name is Mike Klaber. I come from Switzerland, and um, I'm already 19 years old. I'm a little bit older than, uh, I think, you guys, uh, or the most of you. But uh, in Switzerland, our education system is a little bit different. So, um, I, will, um, um, I will go to university in two years here in Switzerland. And uh, yeah, until then, I work at the bank at the moment currently, and uh, I need something else where I can expand my horizons, expand my knowledge in bi international business, because uh, at, at the bank I work for, um, we only speak, well, we most of the time speak German, so uh, 
I have to improve my English skills. And um, I, I'm really looking forward to meet you guys and uh, maybe network. And uh, that's my main motivation to, to learn new people in this program. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Mike. Uh, how many languages do you speak? German, so in, Switzerland, in Switzerland, we, we uh, learn uh, three lang languages. So I'm a native German speaker, that's clear. But we learn also French and English. And you, you have the possibility to learn um, it, Italian. So, but, but I, I cannot speak Italian. I only speak English and French. Yes. Only just three languages. So easy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah, you. The, the, problem, the problem is in Switzerland, we have three, no, we have uh, several uh, language, um, national languages. So, it's uh, in one part of Switzerland we speak French, for example, and one Italian. So, yeah, it's it's a little bit but difficult. Everyone knows how to speak the tree, or or not? No, no, no. Oh, okay. So I think most of the people speak French and German, um, and of course English. Um, but Italian, it's not that. Uh, I I don't know many people that speak Italian, so. It's only a tiny part of Switzerland. We speak yeah. that language. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Mike, right? Yeah, Mike. Okay. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. And uh, regarding the age, you guys don't need to worry about it, okay? In the practical phase, we will put together uh, students from the same age, so we don't have this lack of age. Uh, range age for you guys, okay? Okay. Anyone else want to talk a little bit? No people, the others are shy. No? I would like to introduce myself, but it's a bit noisy here, so hopefully you can hear me. No problem, we can hear you. Perfect. Hello, my name is Lara. I'm also 19 years old. I'm from Germany, but right now I'm in Vietnam traveling. <laughs> I've graduated from school this summer and I'm doing some projects and internships right now before going to university next summer. And um, I want to study in science, but my dream is to go into business later on. So I would like to expand my knowledge in business. And I'm also looking forward working in an international team because I've done two internships um, in Greece and in Spain. And it was a really great experience to work with many people from different countries. <laughs> oh, that's good. And how, how is your degree so far? Oh, it's great. Um, I'm here for, I would say, now one week. The beginning was really difficult because there were so many impressions and the culture is very different here. <laughs> But um, it's amazing. I love the nature and the people, they are so friendly. So it's great. <laughs> but it's totally out of my comfort zone. <laughs> and how is the food? How is the food? Oh, it's amazing. It's okay. really good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Lara. Thank you for sharing. And, and one question. I, I remember your email. How are you? How are you doing with the training materials and exam? Have you already started or not? Mm -hmm. uh, I've done it on Monday or Tuesday uh, in the train. <laughs> um, oh. And it's great. Uh, I mean, I had fun studying everything and it was really interesting to go through the stuff. And now I'm even more motivated um, for the practical um, phase. <laughs> okay, okay. Good to know. Thank you, Lara. Thank you very much. Anyone else want to go next? I would like to present myself. Can I? Sure. Well, my name is Sofia. I'm 17 years old. I found uh, XQ2 through uh, Instagram aid. And I expect XQ2 uh, I expect to, to gain with 
ex-culture uh, experience with people in different cultures and uh, international business to help with diplomacy. Okay, uh, where are you from, Sofia? I'm from Brazil. Oh, Brazilian mate here with me. Thank you for joining us. I, I, I like I, when we have Brazilians here. And where, where do you live, Sofia, in Brazil? Actually, in Bahia, but I'm visiting my father in Brasilia. Oh, but I don't, I don't see your accent from Bahia because people from Bahia has a very unique yeah. accent. So whenever you I, speak English, you don't have accent, that's why. I born in Brasilia and live here my oh, home, home children. Makes, so that makes, <laughs> that makes sense. Understood now. But thank you, thank you for Yannis and thank you for sharing, Sofia. I thank you too. Okay. Next one. Anyone next? No, we have still have a couple of minutes if you guys want. No? The audience are shy. Can I ask one question? Sure. Uh, do you play chess? Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I do. I I, I actually played one, one game this morning. Why? Uh, I don't know. You just remind me of Hikaru Nakamura. <laughs> just because I'm a, a Japanese-looking guy? <laughs> like, no, just, I don't know. I just... Mm. Just the face. But I, I'm not that good. I'm, I'm, I'm a bad chess player. I just like to play sometimes. Do you? Be so critical. Yeah, I also do play chess a little bit. Uh, chess.com? Chess yeah, on chess.com. Oh, like okay. my max rating was like 1600, and that's all. Now I'm a little bit lower. Oh, I, I'm a little bit better than I'm. Oh, actually, let me just check right now. I'm 1,000, 1,050. Yeah, yeah, I think, wait a minute. Yeah, 1,036. So just a little, just a little better. But yeah, we should play some time. Actually, yeah, you can you can write your uh, I mean uh, like chess.com name. I, I, All right. have, I have no idea how to do it. Uh, okay, I'll I'll do I'll do. Okay, because I I, I, <laughs> I don't know how does it work. <laughs> okay, is there any other uh, other question? Someone want to introduce yourself? No. Okay, then I think that's it for today. Just let me get the event that we have next week. So next week we will have our first virtual tour. So one of our coaches will host it. Basically, they will just uh, take you to their favorite place in their country and talk a little bit their culture and what they like to do and those kind of things, okay? and. Uh, for this kind of event, we will open for the students as well in the practical phase. So you guys can also, in the practical phase, tell about uh, your favorite place, your school, I don't know, maybe any anywhere that you would like to share with everyone. Okay. Oh, actually, Luisa can talk a little bit about it because she's yes. part of the program. Next week, we'll, you will meet your other coaching manager, Eva, and it, she's from Belgium and she will show some really nice places in Belgium. I won't spoil them due yet, but we have, are preparing something very fun and interactive for next week, so please join. Okay, thank you, Luisa. Uh... Oh, okay, Alexander, I will, whenever I end this meeting, I will send you a message on chess.com. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, okay, I got it. Okay, and that's it, guys. So make sure to submit your 
uh, your test by tomorrow, 11, 59 p.m. Eastern Standard. Uh, and also for every meeting and test that you will that you guys will take throughout this semester, please consider is New York time, Eastern Standard Time, okay? So you guys don't mess around with time zones and this kind of things. It's kind of hard at the beginning, but you get used to it. So you understand whenever uh, we will have meetings, uh, deadlines for exams and those kind of things. Okay, and again, if you guys have any questions, problems, concerns, you can just send me a message here at academy at x-culture.org. Okay, so that's it, guys. Thank you for joining us today, and make sure to join us for next week uh, with your tour event to Belgium. Okay, see you guys. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a nice day. Have a great day. See you.